let's continue adding more effects. So let's go back to add effect. The next one is shadow. I use this one a lot because this helps me control the, uh, the look and feel of my shadows. So sun shadow range is just how much detail do you want the shadows to have? Do you want them to be more accurate or less accurate? If you want more accurate, we drag this to the left. If you want it less accurate, you drag it to the right. I'm going to keep it to the left because I always want to have accurate shadows. Coloring, this is just the color of the shadow. So if you want something a little cooler, you bring it to the right. A little warmer, you bring it to the left. You can kind of see it in the thumbnail. Notice how it's much bluer down here. I'm going to move it somewhere around here because it is a winter's day. Brightness is how intense the shadows are. So if I move it all the way to the right, the shadows become much lighter. If I move it all the way to the left, the shadows become much darker. This is a preferential thing. I kind of like it around here, but you can play with that. Interior exterior slider controls how much of the sky will tint the interior of the space. Since we're doing an exterior rendering, even if you set it at zero or one, it won't make a difference. So we can leave this at zero for now. Omni shadow is like ambient occlusion. I'm going to go inside the building to help illustrate what this does exactly. Now we're inside the building and right now I have no Omni shadow on. If I drag it to the right, notice how all this contact shadow appears. I like having this all the way to the right and just playing with the brightness it gives me a little more control over my shadows and I love having the realistic contact shadows in my scene. So I always have this on the right. The shadow correction slider will allow you to reduce any errors that are caused by two objects that are close together. By default, Lumion does a good job avoiding this, so I wouldn't mess with it too much, but if you're noticing you know, some odd shadow artifacts, you can play with this slider. Now let's click this thumbnail to return back to the starting point. And these guys right here, normal, sharp, and ultra sharp, this is the shadow type. You're not going to see too much of a difference in the preview. This is something that you'll see a difference in the rendering. In real life, our shadows are kind of soft, so I keep it on normal. Ultra sharp looks a little too CGI for me. So I always keep it on normal, and I always make sure soft shadows are on and fine details are on. This will help add some more realism into the grass. So now all these extra objects will be casting shadows. Makes a huge difference. And again, you'll see this on the final output of the rendering. 